Welcome everyone to more Bally Young Wrestling's All-American Wrestling. I am the Rugged Rebel back in the booth. Rug Rugged Rebel leader has left the booth. He's got to get ready for a matchup at um, Scars and Stripes 3 as here comes Hulk Hogan waving the American flag here on this 4th of July. And when uh, Hulk Hogan heard that Bally Young Wrestling was holding an event on the 4th of July, he was quick to sign up saying that he wanted to show uh, the fans a show here and he wanted to prove to everybody that he still got it as he's wearing the red white and blue bandana and ripping that shirt off as he was waving the American flag coming down to the ring and Hogan said he wanted the opportunity to show the fans of Valley Young Wrestling what he's got and he's shown a, a lot in the past what he's that uh, he is a great competitor and of course Hogan is a part-timer here in Valley Young Wrestling so he's not full-time doesn't uh, always compete and I don't think he's going to ever try to challenge for the Bally Dung Championship. That's not why he came to Bally Dung Wrestling. He came here to keep himself in the spotlight, to show everybody that he's still got some ability in him. But he's coming back, he said, for the fans, competing here tonight for the fans. And here comes the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. <clears throat> who has been in the business for quite a while. He's been backstage as an agent in other companies. He's competed in many different companies. And of course, Dusty Rhodes was known in the ring as the American Dream and the Common Man. And he's wearing the polka dots there here tonight. So a little bit of a throwback here. But I believe that Dusty Rhodes, it says he and Hulk Hogan are going to team up in this matchup against some uh, competitors who have uh, in the past have had some differences with the U United States. So we'll have to see uh, who exactly they'll be facing in this matchup. But it says that, wait, this can't be right. It says this is a handicap match, a handicap match. So the, the Hulk Hogan and Dusty Rhodes are going to be in a handicap matchup. And this might be, here comes a competitor that Hulk Hogan has had some difficulty with. They were uh, one and one in another company, and I know that they fought a little bit in Bally Young Wrestling, not a whole lot. Here comes Yokozuna, and Yokozuna and Hulk Hogan had a legendary battle for quite some time. They feuded over the uh, over a championship in another company, and Yokozuna was able to win the title in one match. He he had beaten uh, Bret Hart in a match to win the title. Then he lost the title to Hogan in uh, short fashion due to some botched interference by his referee at the time, Mr. Fuji. And now Yokozuna is coming here tonight to face Hulk Hogan and Dusty Rhodes in a handicap matchup. And I wonder who the who his other two partners would be if indeed this is a handicap matchup. As my notes are suggesting, the facts that I just got sent from the board of directors is saying that. So, and back to the light heavyweight title matchup that I had. <clears throat> I'm just going to talk about that for a little bit. When I lost that matchup, I do feel that the referee did cost me the matchup. I'm not going to complain about it, though, all the time. I'm just going to state clear out that the referee did call for the bell early. I did not tap out. Now, granted, I did tap out early in the matchup, but the referee didn't see it. And you know what? They, you know what they say? If the referee doesn't see it, it never happened. That's the case. If the referee doesn't see it, it never happened. And you might say, well, I was defeated a few times in that matchup. I was lucky to have lasted as long as I did. That's just, uh, that's speculation. As here comes Sergeant Slaughter. And, of course, Slaughter, he's uh, doing a gimmick here tonight that he uh, got in trouble, I guess, in the past for. He got some tension as he's walking around with that Iraqi flag in the Iraq uniform. And uh, Sergeant Slaughter, of course, he's had, he's had a lot of tension from, that, uh, from being uh, a sympathizer. At times, he uh, actually, I believe he went to restaurants and they refused to serve him food and then he even got threats but here in Bally Dung Wrestling he's not going to get any threats against his uh, life or his career he's just going to have to face some competitors 
as there he's uh, saluting that Iraqi flag. And that's not going to sit well with the fans of Ballet Young Wrestling. As here comes what he calls himself the All American American Jack Swagger. And Swagger's had some controversial views, but to see him teaming up with this team is a little bit of a shocker as he's marching down to the ringside area. <clears throat> Jack Swagger's had a little bit of a change in his uh, demeanor, and I, I think that says something. There's something on the back of his uh, of his uh, attire. I think it says "We the People." I think that's what it says. I'm not quite sure. It's hard to read it with all this walking around going on. But Jack Swagger, of course, a, bit, a very proud competitor. And we'll have to see how he does with this uh, team that he's teaming up with. I don't think he's ever teamed up with a, uh, a two-man tag team just like, like this. Of course, Jack Swagger's also been calling himself. He's been a, a tag team he calls the Real Americans. And now it looks like Yokozuna and Hulk Hogan are possibly going to start this matchup off. But Hogan, a little hesitant there. I guess he's going to tag out to Dusty Rhodes. And Yokozuna tags out to Jack Swagger. So we're going to see the All-American American and the American Dream as Dusty Rhodes attacking Jack Swagger early on. And now the bionic elbow to, uh, to Jack Swagger. And now a cover hooks the leg. One. Two, three, and Jack Swagger is out of this matchup. Who would have thought the All-American American eliminated that quickly here in this matchup by Dusty Rhodes? As that's got to be a little bit of a confidence booster as now this is just a, a basic tag team matchup. Elimination style rules, though. If this would have been a regular one on or a, a regular one fall matchup. Handicapped rules, we would have seen Hulk Hogan and the American Dream win this matchup on the 4th of July. And the fans of Bally Dung Wrestling, some of them, we, I see a Yokozuna sign there. Kind of surprising to see some fans of Yokozuna as he had been a, uh, a heel for some of his career. As he is now taking down Dusty Rhodes here. And Dusty Rhodes... <coughs> He's got to try and find something, I think, in his arsenal to try and uh, come back in this matchup. But Yokozuna looks to be taking full control in the early goings, at least, of this contest. And I think he was going to try. I think he was going to go for the bonsai drop. His slaughter holds. Uh, oh, thumb to the or finger poke to the eyes. That can damage your eyesight for sure. <clears throat> but Yokozuna using some underhanded tactics here. As now he clotheslines Dusty Rhodes down again. But Yokozuna not really finding that bonsai drop that he likes to use. at all. Oh, that elbow drop off the top rope. And if Dusty Rhodes finds himself eliminated, Hulk Hogan's going to have a mountain to climb. As now a cover, no, and a kick out there by Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes has got to try to get Hulk Hogan into this matchup. He has got to tag to Hulk Hogan as now Dusty Rhodes delivers... The bionic elbow on taking down Yokozuna. And now tagging in Hulk Hogan. And Hogan has a downed Yokozuna. And now Hogan going for the leg drop of Doom into a cover. Hooks the legs. One, two, three. And Yokozuna eliminated from this matchup as Hogan getting fired up trying to... And he's hearing it from this capacity crowd as we see a, a Hulkamania sign raised. And Hogan... <clears throat> oh, that punch, that powerful punch there, taking down Slaughter and a DDT there by Hogan. And Hogan getting fired up, maybe seeing shades from res from a WrestleMania 7 that he was in. As now, he's going for it, the leg drop of Doom. Hits it on Slaughter, hooks the legs. One, two, three, and Hulk Hogan and the, Amer and the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, pull off the epic victory here. On the 4th of July for All-American Wrestling in the main event. And congratulations to Hulk Hogan and Dusty Rhodes on an epic victory here. And they can celebrate this victory over a, uh, a tough team. And the odds were not in their favor to begin with. But nonetheless, Hulk Hogan and Dusty Rhodes overcome the odds. Pick up the victory here. And they... 
That is a huge victory to say the least. And who would have thought that Hogan and Dusty Rhodes could work so good as a tag team? But it looks like Dusty Rhodes is a little bit tired out, but Hogan and Dusty Rhodes congratulating each other as they'll 